Hey Naturally Curly World, I'm Modelist Nick and I've teamed up with Naturally Curly to bring you another creative style video. I'll be showing you how I create my go-to curly puff using Fantasia Curly and Coily products. So let's get started. So first you want to separate your hair into four sections. Once you have your four sections, you want to grab your spray bottle, which I added water and my Fantasia Curly and Coily Leave-In Conditioner. I love the leave-in conditioner because it helps to enhance and define my curls. Once I have that mixture together, then I'm going to spray some of it onto each section. Now working on one section, I'll be using my Fantasia Curly and Coily Curl Activator Cream and I'm applying about a quarter size or maybe a tad bit more amount to that section. And I'm just going to work it in with my fingers but then also use my detangling brush to distribute it a little bit more evenly on top of detangling my strands. And then once my strands are fully detangled, then I'll use the shingling method where I am simply just running my fingers through my hair as if I am detangling just so the curls form more and they clump and they become more defined. And that's all you have to do. So you add your product, then you want to detangle whether you're using your fingers or a detangling brush, and then you want to use the shingling method to create the curls and make them more defined. All right, so here's how my hair looks once each section is done. Now I'm gonna to begin to diffuse my hair. I'm using it on low heat. If you want to increase it, I would suggest increasing it maybe to a medium level, but you do not want to go any higher because you don't want your hair to have the heat damage. So each section, I'm holding it for probably less than a minute. All right, so now that my hair is fully dried, I'm going to go ahead and create some volume by using my Afro pick. Now you want to be careful not to disturb the curls that you've just created with your product. So make sure you're only fluffing at the root. I definitely love a little frizz. I love a lot of volume because the bigger the hair, the better to me. But you want to be careful that you're not causing too much frizz, at least to the curls towards the ending of your hair. All right, so now that we've created enough volume, our next step would be to slick down our sides. And then once you do that, you want to just use a brush to just smooth out the sides before you add your scarf. All right, so now that my hair has dried, I am removing the scarf and then once I remove the scarf I'm going to use my old knee-high stocking to hold up my puff and usually I like to rock my puff in a really high high position and then I'm just going to wrap it around and then secure it in the back that way the puff is sitting upright and then once I've done that I'm going to use my afro pick to continue to create volume and also shape my puff so it's somewhat round Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. If you have any additional steps that you want to add to it to spice your puff up, you definitely can. But other than that, if you followed all of my steps, then your puff can look like this too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my curly puff tutorial. And if you'd like to see more from me, make sure you like this video, you share it, and you subscribe to Naturally Curly's channel. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.